So if you're watching this, you're probably in the market for a new e-bike. I know I turn to YouTube lots when I'm uh, shopping. Help me make my decisions. So I thought I'd make one of these to help you guys out. So bear with me. I don't do this for a living. Anyway, this is a 2022 Yukon Volt Bike 750. Just got it probably about a month ago. Uh, I'll start by just touching on some of the accessories we got here. The pannier bag, waterproof, great storage if you want to run to the store and buy a few things. You can actually take them home with you. Rear bag, uh, not bad storage. Great quality, looks good. A uh, few non-volt bike accessories, be the mirror, cell phone holder, water bottle holder. I had to put one there. Because the one that came there, there's not enough room between it and the bar there to fit a normal size water bottle. Which was kind of disappointing, but at the same time, it did give me that spot to mount my bike lock. So that kind of worked. That said, this is also the 20 inch frame. And if you're like me and want a softer ride and want to switch to a suspension seat post, you really got to be sure that you want the 20-inch frame. Because it adds that much to your height. I am six foot two, And my seat is currently about an inch off of being as low as it can go. So I really could have got away with going with a 17-inch frame. Being, uh, I switched over to the suspension seat post. <laughs> See so here on my other, one of the other bikes, this one's for the, my daughter. This is the 17 inch. As you can see the difference here, this is three inches lower. That's the difference in the frames. You do not get a water bottle holder because there's not even room to mount one there. And there's actually not even quite enough room to mount the lock there. That's the downside to that. As you can see on this bike, we went with the Amazon special for a rear bag. It works. Uh, it is not as nice as the Volt bike one, I'll give them that. And we ended up mounting the bike lock up on the front where the front rack would go. Works not bad. And this is the top tube bag that you can get as an optional accessory. I mean, it's all right. But what you'd expect. Uh, I did get one of the helmets too. They're great quality. I'll give them that. They're TOT approved, which I did not expect. Downside to them is they are heavy. Not like heavy, heavy, but compared to a bicycle helmet, normal one, they're they're hefty. All right, I'll show you guys the display and uh, controls here real quick. Mission of the power button comes to life, and right away you'll see. The headlight and tail light just automatically came on and they came on because it's a little bit dark in my garage and there is a light sensor built into this display. Super cool feature. This display is also brand new for this year. It's full color, obviously. I mean, it's a beautiful display. I love it. Um, let me turn them lights off. Okay, that one five for my pedal assist i run five settings the wife runs nine you can choose between three five or nine so you get lots of options there then we can actually cycle through and see our different information like there's only 58 kilometers on this bike so far weather's not been cooperative here i'm hoping to put on a lot more soon you do not get a range reading with these uh it's a little disappointing but at the same time i don't feel like i need it uh the other day i did a 30 kilometer ride and my battery only went down to 80 percent i don't know how accurate that is but uh volt bike claims what is it 80 to 95 kilometers on a charge i i do not see that being an issue at all that's easily attainable um what else do we got max speed 45 and a half kilometers an hour i uh, was a bit of a downhill and pedaling pretty hard um However, just with straight throttle, 
I've had this bike up to probably 37, 38 kilometers an hour, and I'm 220 pounds, so that's doing pretty good. Double click the power button. We can get into some of the settings here. Um, there's a lot of them, but we're going to go to advanced settings and put in our password, which is one nine one nine and they're all one nine one nine that's right from the factory it works on all of them speed limit you can set that with whatever you like uh, do keep in mind in canada on road speed limits 32 kilometers an hour and wattage limits 500 so uh keep that in mind however if you're riding off road we'll say uh you can crank that up to whatever you like uh, it's not really going to pull anything past a little over 40 kilometers an hour it's just the way the motor is it, the gearing it's that's all she's got um the other thing is this comes set at 20 amps but if you turn it down to 19 you'll get a lot more power out of it like noticeable i believe it's the difference between the 500 watt and the 750 watt that this bike has potential for um, again, off-road purposes, we'll call it, but, uh, yeah, if you want full power, set it at 19, world of difference. Um, other than that, that button there shuts off or disables the twist throttle so you don't accidentally twist it. It will, you know, works as soon as you press the button. Shifter is a uh, you know, lever and a push. Good quality, like it. Overall, I gotta say, I am really impressed with Volt Bike. Like, these are well put together bikes. Nothing on them feels cheap. Like, they are solid. Um, one thing I don't think I can stress enough is they are big. Matter of fact, give me a second. There's my old mountain bike from Canadian Tire next to the Volt bike. It looks like it's a little kid's bike. Everything about it's bigger. My favorite part, though, look at the difference in the handlebar height. I'm not 20 years old anymore. I don't want to be hunched over in an aggressive riding position. The Volt bike, you're very upright, very relaxed, very comfortable. You could ride that thing all day. So, that's my brand new Volt bike. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything on it, comments, feel free. I'm more than willing to take the time to answer some questions. Happy to do it.